Hello everyone, welcome back to another online ranked game. We are here still in Buff Cat's Burnment Birthday Bash Tournament going up against Walrus in this Game 3 Big Bala matchup. Uh, starting things off here on defense uh, with Peach on the mound. We're going to be going up against that DK pitcher of Walrus's uh, once again. A little more prepared, we saw it in Game 1. Know what to look for. He's going to go foul, hopefully, yes. And we also flip some handedness on our batter, so we give ourselves an advantage there. DK's going to start things off on offense, though, with a solo home run. Back-to-back, uh, -back, perfect home runs. Not a great start for Peach on the mound. Definitely try to have to mix it up. Didn't actually get to draft Pianta. I would have gone back to him, but Walrus scooped him up before I could in the draft. Man, that one's going to fall in the outfield. Long single. Still looking for that first out. Try and get this game back under control. And go to Bowser Pitcher. We've done that before. All Luigi Pitcher as well. Nice play by Bowser. The dive is going to prevent him from turning two, though. Going for the slap. That's interesting. Uh, Chomp's awake now. Hazard's a back on. Go that with the speed to get out of that, way, uh, that one. Out of the way of that one. Do that. Uh, for quicker wall jumps. Like this one. Nice play by Toadette. Get the double play. The Hezzy on the throw into the infield there. Daisy either I missed the input or Daisy wasn't fully in position there, but um, take advantage of that. Hard right inside on that first pitch. Same thing second pitch. When you got Wally, you can do that. Go outside and get it. This is what I was talking about with the hand in his here. You'll see King Boo comes up as a righty. Not too big of a loss here. It is a little bit worse in the contact zones, but not by a ton. Good. Bad swings, though. BD righty as well. Looks like an abomination on screen, but should help us out. Anything on the inside should be a nice, easy lead. That one I still think was a strike. Just a bit early. Didn't got into the full outside part of the box either. See a ball. I mean, so much easier when you can go uh, out there and just grab it on the edge. You don't have to wait for it to come back over the plate or anything like that. That was right over the middle. Just barely missed him. See a ball? The princesses? Back-to-back -back homers for them? Things are working out nicely so far. 4-2. to two. DK's going to get swapped out here, maybe? Looks like so. Fianta will come in. Does pitch on the other side, so that's unfortunate. But we didn't switch all of our batters. I think that was hittable. I think we just were late. So a solid start. And if that's all we get, then, um, I mean, we, we should be able to close it out here on defense. That's what we did to Walrus last uh, Stars On matchup. Oh, that's got to get that one.
Should be a jump catch, yeah. Just barely making the play at the wall there. Could always switch to Walu. Nice sliding catch by Daisy there in the infield. Track that one down. Get the strikeout on the inside. Just early. Just barely not fast enough to make it down the line there. See a ball? The Walu Tech and Big Bala, we Joe Bunt. First attempt. Are we cracked with the Joe Bunting technique? Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, you show and Bunt, there's a little technique called Joe Bunt where you hit A and B at the same time. You show Bunt and you can pull back and charge super late. And that allows you to achieve the same effect as a tech hit in uh, Stars Off, which you might hear me talking about. Uh, essentially, a tech hit is a way of cheesing the game into thinking you have a 0% charge rate on your character, and based on a glitch, or intended, probably just a glitch, the uh, game gives you extra power. As you can see, Walu absolutely nuked that ball. Chain Chomp? Just a little late. But, the Joe Blunt technique is pretty hard. Uh, I'm usually not that good at it. So that was exciting to get one, finally go out. Named after uh, Joe Baseball, uh, Mr. Joe's Baseball Show, I believe. I think he, uh, the uh, Dinger City, named the technique after him, after he either used it a lot or invented it. I'm not sure. I mean, that would have been a ball. That would have been sour contact if we swing at that one. Princess is, on the other hand, much harder to sour. On the inside part of the bat. Although, I guess it's still possible. Maybe, da maybe Peach, not as much, even. We'll see. Be one of the worst hits if it lands. Oh, the chain chomps asleep. Doesn't even wake up either. That was such a goofy looking hit. Nice play by Luigi there at the wall. I don't think it would have let its wall jump that one. I had to get in position for the super jump. Oh no. Bad mistake to make. 
Hopefully Toadsworth doesn't punish us. He will not. Bowser's there on the bobble. Recovery. Alright. Four innings on offense for us to go. Just late. That probably would have soured, though. Again, that would have been soured. We're late on it still. Oh, we get a... Corner strike there. Wow, I'm surprised it's sour. out of the inning here. Fly ball out to Toadette. I don't like that pitch. Go strike three on the inside here. Three up, three down inning. Keep things rolling. Trying to not let any more base runners on base. We don't have to face some of those top parts of the lineup. No ball in the air there, unfortunately. I didn't move from my starting position, so maybe it's just a little bit far outside. I might get walked here. Just missed it. Again. Foul it off. Do it over. Said uh oh because I stole away early. That one's gonna be caught. Nice play by Madge there. Looking at potential for another 3-up, three 3-down three inning. There's a charge from Boo. Luigi's out here, though. Yeah, so uh, hold it down here in the 6. Uh, hopefully some more runs, but if not, go to the 7th, close it out. Move on in this uh, tournament. I thought we could hit that. That one's crushed. That'll be a long single. Uh, we gotta take a bunch here. The bat wall throws a bunch of balls. Was it pretty aggressive in that daisy at bat?
Luigi up now. Chemistry on base. I should have tried to steal those at bats, but now that we got Madge up, it doesn't really matter. Been throwing inside to Madge a lot. See a ball? Get it out of here. Yep. Two run homer here for Madge. Extends our lead. Should be enough to close us out. Yeah, I mean, that's part of the key to defeating these uh, outside pitches. You know, once they get their hand and is swapped on them. Uh, it's a lot more difficult to try and pitch with those characters, so you really gotta take advantage of those at-bats. Uh, we probably over-swapped our characters if I were to do this game over again. Um, I probably would have left Luigi left-handed, but other than that, or maybe split Daisy left-handed and kept Luigi right-handed. I don't know, either Daisy or Luigi probably flips the other hand in this. Just helped us out a little bit in the middle part of the lineup, but otherwise, we did a pretty good job of splitting them up, and then when we had those handedness matchups, really took advantage of it early on with DK and the the, the princesses. Alright, well, this game's not over yet, but... Really surprised to see a slap there. Checking out. Let's get DK. We've been pitching pretty good to DK. Get the chase on the outside. There it is. GG's to Walrus. We take this one. Uh, move on in this tournament. But uh, yeah, defeated that outside pitching in this big ball of matchup. And not sure who we'll face, but uh, it's always good to keep moving on in the tournament. That was our fourth set, third set win. Lost that one to Sam N. Um, but Princesses, Daisy MVP for some nice knocks she had. Um, but thank you all for tuning in. Be on the lookout. More baseball coming your way. More from this tournament.